a lot of people around the world these people who are rich who've got money they're called billionaires who are they they're business people people with the degrees people with diplomas this I, I don't know if this guy is there they've got money but if they've got money then they are few but people who just rely on business making things the entrepreneurs those guys are the ones who are making it in life when you are in the business you need to know what to sell and what not to sell some goods we can sell them on seasons and some goods we can sell them regularly they doesn't it, it doesn't matter whether it is rain season it doesn't matter whether it is cold season it doesn't matter any season you can sell those goods but there are those goods that you sell in season the time that you're going to waste that's the money that you're going to waste guys welcome back to the channel my name is unique on this channel we do talk about how to create new ideas in the business also transforming the business now today i'm having another great topic do you know that they are goods that you can sell in seasons and they are goods that you can sell regular in regular seasons why am i saying this if you are a business person you need to study the market you need to study the market for example we are from celebrating new year and christmas and there are those gowns that we we wear on new year there are those gowns that we put on maybe there are those cards that we sell to people or buy for our loved ones and those cards they're being bought just for that season and they are those things that you buy for your loved ones on birthdays maybe you buy a cake on birthday you buy something which is so good on her birthday on his birthday so it's not everything that you can sell in a regular season i'll give an example there are things that you can sell in a regular season like peanut butter cooking oil sugar uh, mayonnaise you can also sell medicine medicine drugs i mean medicine uh, if somebody is sick these are goods that you can sell regularly and they are those goods that you sell in seasons they just come maybe once or twice in a year for example people they are opening schools children they are going back to school do you think are you going to buy christmas presents when children they are opening schools no they are going to buy books pencils pens sets crayons and whatsoever these are the goods that we call goods that comes in a season so if you are in the business if you want to do well please study the season study the season you need to think ahead before that season comes because what really happens is that if people or if children open schools there'll be books though you can't find any cheaper book you find books they'll become expensive pens they'll become expensive crayons they'll become expensive but whenever they've closed schools they will they'll be cheaper so it's good if you buy them in advance so that you can sell them in that season and sometimes you find that the suppliers they won't have those goods and it will be difficult for you customers will trouble you like no business 
they will come to you they'll be saying we need pens we need books we need this we need this we need this we don't have so whenever you are in the grocery business like mine study these things if in the cold season there is that time where somebody is cold and they need to make tea what do they use they use sugar and you need to have that as a person as a trader as a person who's in the business you need to work so hard you know you think beyond you think before your customers thinks about what they are going to buy think about think forward think about them before they think about themselves and in this season i'm telling you this is where we do make money like christmas a lot of people they made a lot of money why because people they spent a lot of money on things that are necessary on things that they they don't intend to buy just because they want to celebrate christmas they don't think about how much they're going to spend you remember i did a video where i said i'm going to buy this beer and i'm going to sell it whenever christmas time comes and new year i bought 100 crates of beer i told you that if you can remember in my last video and i said uh, I bought those crates of beer. There were about 100 of them. And I bought them at uh, 20,000 kwacha. That is Zambian kwacha. Now, in dollars, I bought them at uh, 869 US dollars. That's how much I spent on buying those. Ask me what really happened on that day. Yes, Christmas came. <laughs> I, I said, no, I'm not going to sell this. I, I'm going to wait for New Year. That's when I'm going to sell this. That day came. Before that day, it was 30, 31st December. Now, coming the next day, and I revealed that I'm selling Black Label. I'm telling you. How many people bought the same Black Label? Just two of them they bought everything this one 50 this one 50 cash <laughs> and the story was over and i was like what and each black label i increased the price like i said i was ordering those crates one crate it was at a 200 kwacha now i was selling it at 250 Kwacha. Imagine how much I made. 100 crates. So it was a good business that I had to do. It was a good business. Now I did understood that there are things that you can sell in season and there are things that you can not sell in season. If you are a businessman, you need to understand these things. If you are in business, please work out. Think about, think about things before those people they think about you and what to buy for themselves if you really want to make money in business then you need to follow seasons if you really want to make money then you need to buy products at that season because you cannot buy beer while people are not celebrating anything you cannot buy cards while people are not celebrating anything. You cannot buy books while people, they've, they've not opened schools or they've closed schools. We buy things whenever we see them, they are in demand. And you need to know that this time, these things will be in demand. Like I told you, this time, I'm talking about school too much. Why? Because I've bought books. How much? Like, how many? Uh, somewhere 10 cases I know that school will be opening any day from now maybe two weeks to go school will be opened now I bought in advance I don't want people to come and trouble me to say we need books we need this we need that we need that 
I want whenever those people they come to me they will say okay this guy is selling this I don't want to disappoint my customers I respect them too much I respect them because they feed me they make me pay my bills they make me to feed my child that's why I do respect them too much so understand your business understand the things that you are doing if you just understand it, it is going to give you whatsoever you want because in business life is easy in business you can make it a lot of people around the world these people who are rich who've got money they're called billionaires who are they they're business people people with the degrees people with diplomas this I, I don't know if these guys there they've got money but if they've got money then they are few but people who just rely on business making things the entrepreneurs those guys are the ones who are making it in life all you need to do is just have a sharp mind be creative be so rude in your mind such that you need to think through and through such that you need to think before they think about what they are going to buy it becomes easy for you and the business thank you guys for watching this video if it is your first time watching my video please kindly subscribe to the channel click on the notification button for you to get all my latest videos and please please i'm kindly requesting this i don't want you to pay me but i want you to do something for me just like this video share to your brother and tell your brothers to subscribe to the channel why because this is the kind of information that we need to be getting as youths we need to, to have this mentality I think we need to have this time let's talk about mentality change so guys thank you so much i'm blessed to have you on this channel and i'm blessed that you are watching this video and hope you are enjoying my videos too i'm out